hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be showing you how i do my makeup so i haven't done a makeup video in like two years now so i just thought i should get back into makeup so doing my hair all the time it kind of like too much sometimes i kind of like want to mix in the content so i'm going to be doing a little bit of makeup there and there so yeah this is a simple sort of like everyday glam soft glam makeup look and if you're new to my channel welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and let's get started so i've already filled in my eyebrows and i use the essence eyebrow pencil which looks like this and this one is in number two in brown and to clean up my eyebrows i'm going to use the la girl pro concealer and this one is in toast so i'm going to clean under my eyebrows and on top as well So yeah, another reason why I haven't uploaded the videos in like over a month now is that I actually got married like last weekend, last Sunday, actually on the 28th of March. So there was also like a lot of wedding planning. We did have like a small intimate wedding. It was only about like 20 people which were like our immediate families, like some of our close friends. So we had like a super small wedding. It was a backyard wedding, but it still had a lot of preparations. And I made my wedding dress, which I will upload the video soon. I still have to edit that one. So I, at least I managed to film some videos. So I'm also taking this concealer down to my eyelids because my eyelids tend to be darker than my whole entire face so i'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend this out so now i'm going to prime my face and to prime my face i use this catrice prime and fine spray so it's like a, a primer and a setting spray in one And for foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix foundation, and this one is an NW46. And then to apply my foundation, I always use like this uh, flat kabuki brush. And I'm just going to start applying it on my face. And then with whatever is left on my brush, just go ahead and blend it down to my neck. Because my neck tends to be lighter than my face. So I'm done with my foundation and now I'm going to highlight under my eyes. So I'm using the same LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast. I like using the concealer that is a little bit close to my skin tone. And I'm also going to put some of this concealer on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. And then lastly, I'm going to add right here on under my contour. So this is just going to be like a, a guide. So it's going to make my contour look more defined. And then to blend it out, I'm going to blend it with my Beauty Blender. And to set my concealer, I'm going to use this Yadli Loose Powder and this one is in Caramelized. And I'm going to 
set my under eyes like every way that I applied that concealer. So I love using this powder like to set like, even my whole entire face because it just like matte and it doesn't move like my makeup will stay will last longer like this with this powder on. So this is like my favorite setting powder. Like I said I can actually set my whole entire face with the same powder and it's perfect like and also it's like the perfect shade and now i'm going to add some contour and this is makeup revolution um stick foundation and this is in f18 i think this is like the darkest shade i'm just going to add some here on my cheekbones And then I'm taking like a contour brush and I'm going to blend this out. And after using the brush, I am taking this um, Real Techniques uh, blending sponge and I'm just going to further blend out that contour. And to set my face, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me powder. This one is in 355 in cinnamon. And I'm just using like a large powder brush. And I like to go into like round motions, especially around my contour to sort of like blend it out. To contour my nose, I'm going to use the same uh, stick foundation. So I just put some on my brush and I'm just taking some of it off and I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. And then going back with the same sponge that I used to blend my contour, I'm just going to blend this out more. And I'm going to apply some blush and this is a Yardley blush and this one is in Safari Sunset. I love, love this blush. This is like my new favorite blush. And I'm just using like a blush brush. And I'm going to apply it on top of the contour. And next I'm going to add some highlights and this is the Catrice and Lava Bronzing Powder in number 10. And this is like super pigmented. So I just tap a little bit on and just apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Okay. And blend it downwards towards like the blush and the contour. And 
then I'm also going to add a little bit of my nose. And now going back to the eyes, I'm just taking the same blush and this blending brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of color there and blend it out. And I'm going to add some eyeliner. My favorite is this gel eyeliner by LA Girl, and this one is in very black. And I'm just using like a small eyeliner brush. So I'm going to do sort of like a wing. Now moving to mascara and this is the Wet n Wild Extra Extra Lash Mascara. So I'm going to coat my top and bottom lashes. And for my lips, I'm going to apply my lip gloss, which is the, it's an essence lip gloss, but I've had it for like the longest. It doesn't even have a name anymore, but it's one of those um, glossy, long lasting lip glosses. I'm just applying it on my lips. Finally, I'm going back to my setting spray and I'm going to apply it all over my makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my hair and then I will see you guys in a few. So I'm back now with the final look. I just did my hair, which is going to be the video after this one. And I also added some lashes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to enable the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.